Let me flash this torch at the mirror. What will happen? Most of the light will get reflected. How about this wall? Only some light will be reflected. Wall will absorb the remaining light. Let me take this aluminium foil. Will it behave like the wall? It reflects more light than the wall but less light than the mirror. The amount of light reflected by an object and how it is reflected is highly dependent upon the smoothness or the texture of the surface. When surface is rough or its imperfections are smaller than the wavelength of the incident light as in case of the mirror, virtually all the light is reflected equally. However, in the real world, most objects have irregular surfaces that exhibit a diffuse reflection with the incident light being reflected in all directions. Most things that we see like people, cars, houses, animals, trees, etc. do not themselves emit visible light but reflect incident natural sunlight and artificial light. Take example of this banana. Why this banana is yellow in color? It is because banana absorbs all non-yellow light or wavelengths of these colors and reflects only yellow light. Can you tell why this paper is white in color? Yes, you are right. It does not absorb any particular wavelength of light but reflects all the wavelengths. The reflection of light can be roughly categorized into two types of reflections. Specular reflection or regular reflection is defined as light reflected from a smooth surface at a definite angle. Diffuse reflection or irregular reflection is produced by a rough surface that tends to reflect light in all directions. In case of irregular reflection, incident parallel rays are reflected at different angles after reflection and are no more parallel. There are more occurrences of diffuse reflection than specular reflection in our everyday environment. Irregular reflection or diffuse reflection takes place when the light rays are incident on a surface like a wall, the wood, a leaf of a tree, a piece of leather, a piece of paper or a piece of wool, which are not smooth or polished. The different portions of the surface reflect the incident light rays in different directions. To visualize the differences between specular and diffuse reflections, consider two very different surfaces. When light is incident on a plain aluminum foil, it is uniformly reflected at the same angle as that of incident light. If this foil is crumbled and made rough, incident light is reflected in all directions. A second application of the distinction between diffuse and specular reflection is in the field of photography. The calm water provides for the specular reflection of light from the subject of the photograph. Light from the subject can reach the camera lens directly or it can take a longer path in which it reflects off the water before traveling to the lens. Since the light reflecting of the water undergoes specular reflection, the incident rays remain concentrated instead of diffusing. The light is thus able to travel together to the lens of the camera and produce an image, which is an exact replica of the subject. Polished metal ball is an example of regular reflection, while this rubber ball is an example of diffuse or irregular reflection. Perhaps, the best example of specular or regular reflection which we encounter on a daily basis is the mirror image produced by a household mirror that people might use many times a day to view their appearance. This mirror is plain mirror. Mirror's smooth reflective glass surface renders a virtual image of the observer from the light that is reflected directly back into the eyes. This image is referred to as virtual because it does not actually exist and appears to be behind the plane of the mirror due to an assumption that the brain naturally makes. As you know, images produced by plane mirror are virtual. There are some curved mirrors 
which produce real image. We will learn about it in the next standard. Summary We learnt about types of reflection, the amount of light reflected by an object and how it is reflected is highly dependent upon the smoothness or the texture of the surface. The reflection of light can be roughly categorized into two types of reflections. Specular reflection or regular reflection is defined as light reflected from a smooth surface at a definite angle. Diffuse reflection or irregular reflection is produced by a rough surface that tends to reflect light in all directions. There are more occurrences of diffuse reflection than specular reflection in our everyday environment. A second application of the distinction between diffuse and specular reflection is in the field of photography. Since the light reflecting of the water undergoes specular reflection, the incident rays remain concentrated instead of diffusing. The light is thus able to travel together to the lens of the camera and produce an image, which is an exact replica of the subject. Activity Which magazine paper is good for reading? Rough paper or glossy paper? Find out magazines with different paper quality and validate your findings.